Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about being surrounded by divorce. Now, this topic is kind of serious, you know, because it's pretty common out in the U.S. and out in any other countries, but I'm still going to talk about it anyway, from my perspective. Ever since I was a kid, I was always surrounded by family members who were divorced, and when I was, it's just when I was a kid, I thought nothing of it. I had no idea they were divorced anyway. I just, I just lived out my life. But then I got older and then I realized how many family members I know that gone through a divorce. And I'm like, wow, does, does this happen all the time? Like, like in the whole world, like divorce, like it does apparently. Like more than 50% of the population of of people go through a divorce and that's saying something that is just so sad it makes me question is loving this person worth it because when you marry someone you could try to be committed to them but then as soon as time changes and things go through um in the future things happen they end up getting a divorce and bam it's just over like damn just recently, a few months ago, I had to deal with my parents getting a divorce. I wasn't sad, happy, or angry about it. I just knew it was going to happen one way or another. And it doesn't change the fact that I still love them. And that whenever people are, and children are going through a divorce... They should know that their parents don't love, um, that their parents still love them just the way they are. And it doesn't change anything, even if parents split up these days. Now, circumstances with divorce can be very different. Whether if people are, if people just have, you know, different lifestyles or people just, they just change or one of them cheats on the other. Or they could be abusive, like physic. it depends, like physically, emotionally, mentally. Those are different. Like for this, for this point in the video, just at this point, I'm only going to be speaking to those people who've been through divorces of parents that just, that just end up going their separate ways because they, um, they change, you know, people's love for one another change. So I want to let you guys know that if you're a kid and you've been through the same situation, it's not your fault. Young kids always like to blame themselves saying that, oh, it's my fault. Did I do something wrong? No, you did not do anything wrong. You were just a kid. You can't just blame yourself on something that happens a lot. It's just people change. They just want to go on their separate ways and they can still be friends you know your parents could still be friends with no one another just not like in a special way that they used to be it's just it just changes i think that's what young kids are afraid of is that seeing their parents go in a separate way is a huge change for them that i don't know if they would be too too much to handle for them because you know change is a big thing especially for me but I knew this was coming from a mile away when I knew my something would happen to my parents so it, it happens and I knew other family members who ended up getting a divorce but that doesn't change the fact that other family members that I know that have gotten a divorce still love me for who I am and it won't change nothing it won't change nothing despite people going their separate ways. And that's okay. That That is all right. And if you're listening to this video right now, I want you to know that it's never your fault when, if, if you're going through a situation like this. It's just that your parents will always love you for, her, for who you are. Nothing will change anything. Nothing. And I know I repeat myself a lot. I just don't care. I don't, I don't care at all. I want you guys to know it. Nothing will change. They'll always love you. Every one of the family will love you, depending on the situation. If they're abusive, then screw them. Screw those parents that are abusive towards you. You don't have to worry about them. 
I'm only talking about parents that just separate because they have different values, not because of parents who are abusive or if parents cheat on one another. I'm, ta I'm only talking about if parents just go their separate ways because they change. And that's okay. That, that goes the same way with boyfriends and girlfriends or girlfriends and girlfriends, boyfriends and boyfriends. That's the kind of the same thing, but different, you know? So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm hoping you get some some advice from it, from from me at least. Anyway, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.